guys, we are back. This is the winner's match. Our very own TVT. No, this is not the GSL. This is not GOM TVT. I've said that a couple times on accident. I've been like, GSL, oh crap, wait, a a a ASL, ASL. I mean, when you're watching a TVT, it's very easy to get confused, especially if you're like me and you've been watching StarCraft for a long, long, long time. Like, GOM TVT was how I was a nurse on competitive StarCraft, I, uh, StarCraft 2, rather. And uh, this is this is home for me, uh, so I, I love this stuff. I never played Terran, so this is really the matchup to me that's like the most foreign, but it, it's interesting and exotic to me. I, I love it. I can't wait to exotic. see what these two players bring for us. Uh, but we're here on Vani Research Station for this matchup, and in the south position, it is our teal Terran, representing maybe Paragons of Perfection? I don't know, I don't know. Uh, but it is Markin. And his opponent in the top spawn position, representing Knights of Ashfire. It is the Red Terran player, tearing it up. Oh yeah, tearing it up. That's my day night impression. I've used that to throw away so many times. Oh yeah. No, come on, believe. You yeah, gotta believe, no. guys. I I I hear you. I got it. Thank you. Looks like Markin starting off with a Rax right into the factory. No Reaper, but on the opposite side for Senor tearing it up. Looks like he's opening Reaper. I'm liking the deviation, or not deviation, but now their player's doing the same thing. I've seen a lot of TVTs, or any matchup, that it's like literally like everything is the exact same time. Like you're one second apart. But uh, in this yep. case, in this scenario, they're doing a little bit different now. I'm really excited to see this. Yeah, Markin just needs to keep his Marines in position to deny this Reaper. Uh, and turn it up actually committing to a second Reaper. So if this first Reaper is actually able to pick off some of these Marines, uh, pick up one off, heal, go back in, pick one off, he could actually get some damage done. But normally this is just going to cancel out and nothing much is going to happen. Oh, Reaper almost gets sniped there. 12 health, le 12 health left. We'll get out of here. But it spots the starport. Now, this is important because this is looking pretty much like a Banshee opening from Markin. Double gas has got the factory out, um, got the starport out. And uh, that's that's actually a great scout for tearing it up. It's gonna. See, I'm gonna see how. I'm curious to see how he reacts. Yeah, Markin has a really nice crisp build laid out here. Going the one one one, throwing down the tech lab after he gets out the three marines to deny the reapers. Uh, gonna switch over that starport of the tech lab, and like you said, probably get a banshee, possibly a raven. We'll see. As uh, tearing it up, some reapers trying to make their way in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the Reaper's actually... Oh, one does get sniped right there. The Hellion clutch Hellion right there. The hero of the fight, Reaper 1. Reaper will get away, and now the Starport is being transferred, and we're going to see Cloak and the Banshee start up. And so far, no Cloak, but um, yeah, there the Cloak is right there. And we're going to... I'm just... Um, looking at Terran upside of the map, he does the engineering bay on the on the way. He is not doing Banshee, but he's not going into pure bio. He's getting a starport up to defend, getting uh, getting some marines hopefully coming from reactor on this barracks. But he's already got his natural base up, which is the really big thing here. It's gonna whether he can defend this or not from all the aggression that looks like Markin is gonna try to prepare. Yeah, I would I would assume uh, based on what he saw in the main base of Markin that he should swap this uh, factory over with the starport, get a Raven and then a Viking. Uh, to defend the Banshee. Uh, we'll see, though. I'm not exactly sure what uh, his plan is to defend, because he does have this extra surface area to defend, cause since his natural is uh, up and running already. But he does have the eBay also, so he can throw down some turrets for support as well. And as he throws down the scan to confirm what's going on in Markin's base, and he sees everything. The cloak is two-thirds of the way done, but he doesn't see that there's a Banshee already halfway across the map to go and do some damage. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be this natural base, too, where there's already almost a missile turret up. Both actually bases have a missile turret for tearing up. Marines aren't quite in the right position, but I think, I mean, tearing it up is going to be in a relatively okay position because also, I mean, he's got a Viking coming out and a sec and a third missile turret just to be safe. The Banshee going to pick up this one transferring SCV and the Viking here uh, be able to force the cloak. But as soon as it moves back into range of the turret, it's going to be able to uh, be hit by the Viking again. Banshee, I think he'll be able to escape with this, and he's not going to get too much done. There's actually a second missile turret over here by the production. Uh, very nice placement by by tearing it up to kind of deny this Banshee. It's really only gotten three kills. Not not too bad. 
Yeah, not too bad at all. It has got an actually decent amount of kills for the amount of missile turrets defending right here. And But finally, tearing up, I mean, his economy is starting to kick in. He's actually at the exact same amount of workers as his opponent, but I mean, it's gonna it's starting to kick in very, very soon, and he's got a nice defense up for almost most things. I would love to see maybe like a siege tank, uh, siege tank come out of this just to be safe, especially in a lot of TVT systems. Sorry, in a lot of TVT situations, you get into that uh, kind of tank versus tank drop play, and it is good to have one to defend, but right now, it'd be great because Markin is moving out, two tanks, and what's a 10 Marines here, and looking to get some damage done. And, I mean, there's not a ton to defend ground, though, because he's put so much into these missile turrets. Yeah, the the this push out is going to do a lot of damage, actually, with the two Banshees with Cloak to back this up. Uh, it's going to be really, really a strong position to be in. Uh, he'll be able to negate the other player's tanks. Uh, and they'll say hide right underneath those turrets. But if they do that, then that leaves the front exposed to the other, uh, to Markin siege tanks. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and Markin is still expanding behind this, so he's not looking to end the game here. So, if he can get a little bit down with this push, and then pull back. And actually a really aggressive siege there. Oh, and he may get the second tank. Banshee. He does get the Banshee with the Viking, but now they're very aggressive from Markin and Hellions. This is all, right off the bat, Markin starts working on the Supply Depot. There is one Siege tank, and it's doing a little bit of da a little bit of damage here, but really, I mean, all the production of tearing it up is in the front part of his base, and finally that Siege tank is killed for tearing it up, and it's looking a little bit hot for him. Yeah, that's his uh, last and only tank, and he's actually Supply Block now because he lost both his Supply Depots at the front, so his replacement tank isn't even on the way. Stim is almost done for him, but he's already lost one barracks and a reactor, and the sea tanks are already working on another one. Turn it up is in a dire position here. He needs to salvage this and carry it on to be able to make it through the rest of this game. Yeah, and he's trying to do that right now, but he's only got one Marauder left, one uh, one Marine. That was all to try to stop this. There is two Vikings in the air, but I mean, right now it's keys tearing it up. Did have air superiority. Now there's no nothing else on the there's nothing else in air, but I mean. It, I'm, it's, just, it's just so hard for tearing it up. He has so little right here to actually be able to assault this, and siege tanks are so hard to assault when you only have a few units. If it was only a lot of marines, maybe something could happen from tearing it up, but this is going to be key right here. I'd love to see maybe you drop on top of one of these siege tanks when he takes damage, or when, when the marines are not in position, but right now, actually, on the other side of the map for Mark, and he is, he does have a SCV lead. Yeah, he's got the stim now, so he's going to be able to take out that tank. This is going to help us, and he's going to clean it up, push it back. Uh, and he has had that base for a little while longer, but he's actually down in workers now. Yeah, he is down in workers because he lost seven workers right there. Turn it up did, but I mean, turn it up did a, that was a, actually a very nice defense, and he's kept those two marauders alive. Those were the heroes of that attack right there, man. They they get some medal of honor and some purple hearts. And actually, uh, turn it up's income is substantially lower than Markin's right now. He's been using so many scans, not using the mules. He's got like 20, 30% less income right now and lots down in gas, like 50% less income in gas for tearing it up. And he had that economic advantage to start, but that attack from Markin was really well executed. Uh, like we like we were talking about before these this night really got rolling, we hadn't seen too much from Markin, but so far, I think he has the, the crispest builds of all of the players in this group. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. he's got units back in his natural to defend a, a doom drop counter. Uh, he's just covering all his bases, playing really well uh, and uh, looking really strong to take this game so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I completely agree with you. Markin playing very, very crisply, and he, I mean, he's, he's in the winner's match right here. It looks like Tearing It Up is going for that Dune Drop, as you mentioned a little bit earlier, that that's exactly, Markin is prepared for this, and as, as I also mentioned very just very early on in the game, I like that, I like that, I would have rather had Tearing It Up get a, a little bit quicker of a Siege Tank to defend up, because that is just so common. You see lots of little sneaky drops in blank places in your main base, or just purely just with these Siege Tanks. There's lots of positions you can take, but now Tear It Up is going to try to do something on uh, um, on the left-hand side of the map. He does not have a Siege Tank to go with this, though. But, I mean, he may be able to get a couple damage down. At least he may be able to deny this Orbital Command. Uh, I love that stutter right there. It's like, well, you saw me, but I don't know if I want to keep going. Yeah, this drop is not going to get anything done. It uh, doesn't even manage to kill a worker. Uh, oh, the loses the medevac. Snipe at all. And, yeah, that was just a, a throwaway of a medevac full of Marauders and Marines. That, that hurts. Tearing It Up is falling further and further mm -hmm. behind. And he doesn't have a third base up yet, whereas Markin has just landed his third CC and or OC and is now uh, ready to move up to a better economy. He's actually moving out onto the map, and he's in a commanding position. I think he wants to just go take an even better position now. 
Yeah, and it looks like Markin's gonna go for a pretty big Doom Drop right here. Yes, Terran it up does have plus one attack like he's been playing in every single other game we've seen him in getting double engineering bay. And now the, oh, actually cancels the armory. But uh, I mean, he's just not gonna be in the right position. He's got a little bit to defend, but as as you mentioned on the right-hand side, there's now gonna be a Doom Drop and really go up to that. We'll do the scan, making sure nothing's there. I love those scans because as 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 a um, anyone defending this, like, do I, is he scanning just to see? Is he scanning to drop? But it will be right there. He will know it's a scan to drop and the Siege Tanks are all sieging up. Yeah, trying to get as much damage to the production as they can. Finally, Siege Tanks sieging up. And I mean, the army of Tanned Up can't really get there. There's just so little bio. The Siege Tanks alone would take them out. Yeah, Tearing It Up is finding himself in check right now. He needs to maneuver around this Doom Drop, but he's going to take so much damage from it. There's so many Marines here. Three medevacs worth of Marines, basically, with three Siege Tanks to back up. Uh, these tanks are going to hammer the Marines of Tearing It Up as they stim down. They're going to pick up all the tanks. And Mark, it looks like, oh, the one survives. Now all the bio for tearing it up is evaporated. Now the tanks are exposed to the Marines of Markin. Markin is walking away with this. I'm afraid that check turns into checkmate in there. GG. Welcome to Coda. This is the second game in a best of three. We are currently looking at the man who is down one game from Knights of Ashfire. It is the Teal Terran player who is and is tearing it up. Indeed. I always want to say the man tearing it up. You know what I mean? I was like, Grr. I mean, that is a pretty manly name. Uh, Markin over here on the left side, the yellow Terran up one game now. Uh, yeah, like I said, foolishly like a noob it is Markin. Markin! Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Yep, I think Markin's just going for the same build actually. Uh, mm -hmm. Skipping the gas early on. Uh, oh, there it is. Not sure. Not sure. I'd, I'd love to see that same build. That was just a damn good build out of him the first game. Really well yeah. planned out and yeah, he yeah. did it phenomenally. Uh, denied the Reapers. Totally owned tearing it up with that first push and the second push was just Really, really well done. Yeah, most definitely. We see in the bottom right hand corner for Terran it up, opening with a Nether Reaper expand. And I feel like it's, he kind of gets vague after the Reaper expand. He doesn't always do the same thing, uh, at least for Terran it up. And Markin is going to scout everything. Or actually, he's not going to scout everything, but he's going to scout the Reaper Fast expand almost for sure. Sadly, his SCV is very confused because he cannot get up that ramp, but hopefully. Psh, like how he keeps doing like a different spot. Like, are you serious? You can't get here? Like, come on, get over here. But we'll spot the complete wall off. Turn it up. Maybe trying to do something cheeky here. Does go for the double refinery. Maybe he's going to go for a Banshee play like we saw Markin do. Yeah, maybe uh, throwing down a second gas. Doesn't have a, another structure after that barracks yet, though. Uh, doesn't have the gas for it. Not sure what he's planning here. Uh, and Markin uh, as well just going for the... Uh, reactor straight away after two marines uh so i think uh, he's gonna just take an expand pretty quickly here yep there goes the the natural for markin starting up here as the reaper comes in might actually be able to deny that i think it will be able to deny there there is a reactor on markin's barrack so it'll take a little while to get some more marines out there will be two marines now but that scv is dead another scv going down to help but this reaper may get some damage done Oh, nice. Three SCV kills so far. Yeah, that's a lot better than you can hope for. And this is a lot more than he got done last game. Oh, Marines do end up picking it off, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Marines will almost for sure end up getting that. But for, for tearing it up, I mean, the first Reaper got a little bit of damage, but got a lot of scouting done. He did not see a second. He did not see second gas like he himself is doing or anything like that. And we do see an instant starport from tearing it up. I think he's feeling very confident right here. Does start a Widow Mine a little bit supply blocked. But... Um, this is this is gonna come out pretty hard, I think, for Markin because, or it's it's gonna be pretty hard for Markin. He's on a natural base, which is generally one player does the banshee rush, one player na takes their, but uh, maybe puts a little bit more eco economically and takes their natural. But normally Markin, or as at least the other the economic player, will have scouted his opponent, and in this case, he did not. He did not get the scout. Yeah, and uh, Markin was uh, really wise and delayed his tech just a little bit denied it from that reaper seeing it when the right as the reaper dies when he threw down his uh factory so turn it up is still in the dark here and i think he's just planning on a, a more normal-ish uh widow mine drop it's kind of a vanilla terran aggressive opener these days um as he's uh, just now getting his natural established though whereas markin's natural is already turning into an orbital uh so markin he's got his starport done there's a scan from tearing it up finally sees what's going on uh, might actually be mech uh, from Markin since he, mm -hmm. he's 
prioritizing this Hellion play. Not necessarily, but uh, I'd love to see that. And another big switch up. Uh, and if he can execute this as well as he did last game, and he's looking great, uh, not just in this series and in this group tonight, but in this tournament overall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Teared it up is now moving out. I really think that Markin may go for a drop here. Maybe Hellion Marine drop into the into the back base or into the natural base of Teared Up. You can get so much damage done, so much DPS come out of Hellions and Marines. But it looks like at least for now, Teared Up saying, "Okay, I gotta get some damage done." And he's sending out his wid he's sending out his Widow Mine uh, Metaback Force, or sorry, Widow Mine Marine Force. But I love this out of Markin actually not doing as I said because I actually uh, like this better. He's gonna poke at the front with a drop, and it's gonna arrive a little bit later than Teared It Up. But there's not there's not gonna be a lot at home to defend. But then again, I mean, tearing it up may actually have to pull back because of it. Yeah, tearing it up's drop actually delaying in the mid map there for a little bit. And uh, the Hellions at the front are going to totally pull tearing it up to the left. And his drop is going to. Oh, he's going to drop right on the tank! Oh, oh what a drop. play! Nice, the drop will go off, and focusing down the siege tank right now, Hellions will remove a lot of the Marines here, and now Markin is completely free in the natural base. For so long, Tearing Up did not do that drop, that really screwed him over right there. He's gonna have to pull back to his natural base, but by this time, Markin's already in the main. Supply depots did not go up, Hellions doing so much damage. The engineering base, sorry, the, sec and the second barracks or third barracks is being, uh, SCB was destroyed, and this is so much damage right now for Markin. I mean, he's just going, he's going ham right here. I would love to see him go into the mineral line though, because these just this amount of Marines is not good at taking out the barracks. But the SCB is actually going to come to him. Yeah, SCB's coming to him, and and tearing it up actually didn't end up using his drop at all. He just pulled it all the way back to his base, and now he's trying to defend here. And I think he will actually end up cleaning this up eventually, but he lost so much potential damage on Markin in return. And now he's down in workers and an army supply. Or no, he's actually up in army supply. Oh, nice pickup. I wouldn't mind. I mean, he picked it up, but on the other side for Markin, he does not quite have an army yet. And but but he's get he's starting to get some units out now for Markin. I think that actually could have gone so much better for him. He could have. I think he could have killed almost all the SCVs, but he went for the buildings. But at least. But tearing it up's attack did not actually successfully go off on his base, which is what was really scary. And Markin has two Vikings already out and starting to produce a little bit of army by the time tearing it up tries to get to the other side. Markin's gonna be prepared. Yeah, Markin, I think, uh, kind of playing with the T-Nerb uh, mindset there. He just, he got into position where his units were gonna be doing some damage and then went back home and macroed and, and transitioned. So now he's in a much better position. No mech from him throwing down his extra barracks. He's got Stim already on the way. Uh, going to start siege tank production, going to react around his starport, and he's going to be uh, uh, in a much better mid-game position than tearing it up. Yeah, he will be in a quite good fit position. Finally getting out an engineering bay, as, as you said, for tearing it up. He has not got any upgrades, but previously in almost every game where he's not gone this Banshee play like he has in this game, he's gone double engineering bay, double upgrades, which is actually very, very helpful for him. And for now, it looks like he may be trying to do that, adding on a second gas in his natural. and starting to get a little bit of an army, but it's all Marines. Now, I, I mean, he, I don't... He's got the one tech lab with the stim, but he's so supply blocked right now in the main. He's trying to make a drop happen into the natural of Markin. There's a siege tank ready, and the uh, army of Markin's actually going to be terribly out of position, but it may be able to snipe all this if he gets in, or if he gets in quickly with these Vikings. He's going to pick up a few SCV kills, and that is very nice. Uh, but he's not going to make it out of here with any of these units. The medevac might escape with the Marines. Whoa. Just barely. Nice, nice uh, hot pickup there. Gets out. But yeah, Turn It Up's eBay in his main is just sitting idle here while Markin... Uh, oh, they're just now starting plus one attack. Markin's already almost halfway done with plus one attack uh, mm -hmm. and uh, pulling ahead in army supply. Uh, and as yeah, he moves out to, to put on more pressure to Turn It Up, he's looking very, very good. Yeah, the one thing I'm a little bit worried about is just Markin's economy, or, or sorry, his production, he's got a fantastic economy, but he's not really producing much out of these racks at the moment while he's on the other side of the map. As you were saying, maybe a little bit like T-Nerb, but I think I think he's doing actually playing very, very well right now. Finally, he's starting to get some more units coming out of there, just a little bit of a lapse on the production cycles. But he's going to have a fantastic drop combined with these Vikings, and he actually may be able to snipe Tearing It Up's medevac here. Yeah, I think he's just uh, actually delaying his production to get out that third CC is what his plan was. Now he has that third CC on the way, so once again, he set himself up for a strong attack that doesn't need to kill his opponent. Mm -hmm. so he's yeah, ahead this kills his opponent, so. but this time he will start taking out some SCVs. Five SCVs killed, and he could actually just pick up and get out of here now. Yeah, this is a fantastic position. I think as soon as uh, Terran Up starts to move in, if he unseaches that tank and hot picks up, just uh, books it out of there, he's going to be in uh, great shape to just uh, move back and then try this again in a few minutes when his army is even stronger. Oh, there he goes. 
Almost Did he get that siege tank? tank? No. Oh man, I was like, that it. is so clutch. But he's got another siege tank with the main army right now for Markin, and he's got the three medevacs. So the only two of tearing it up, at least tearing it up in the TVT situation, can get out medevacs. I'd laugh if he only had like Vikings. Yeah, jeez, no medevacs in this situation would be so painful. But Markin's uh, third CC just finished up, uh, adding on his fourth and fifth barracks. And Markin is uh, looking very, very strong here. He's up in army supply, uh, up in overall supply by uh, about 10 here. And yeah, tearing it up is just kind of hemmed into his base. He's got the same amount of production technically. He's got his double upgrades going now to try and catch up. But uh, he's going to start falling behind if he doesn't get a third base established where Markin already has that. Yeah, Markin's third base is already down. It's not quite an overall command yet, but it will be pretty soon. To boot, Markin is getting down a second engineering bay and an armory. He's perfectly, I mean, he's going to the uh, late game really, really well. Well, mid, mid to late game, very, very well. The Terran up is trying to do a drop right now. Markin's entire army is on the other side of the map, but there is there is something at home to defend, but I mean, it'll be this will be key how Terran up does this. It actually will go for the third base. Yeah, this drop from Terran up is actually really strong. There's uh, not much at home to defend for Markin other than the, the production cycles, like as they come out. You might actually pick up this third base. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now on Markin in the bottom side of the map is actually going to be dropping into the main of Terran it up. I'd love to see him elevate everything in, but he can't quite do it because of the missile turrets. And I'd actually say he's got he's got to go home right now with this. He lost his third base and that little bit of a plus he had while uh, Terran it up second or third CC is on the way. Yeah, I don't know if this so much by Markin is actually turrets. very good. He lost all the medevacs. He lost all the medevacs, and now his siege tanks and marines are dying? Markin but, just But in the natural, people. there's a little attack poking in, and we'll actually snipe one siege tank, but this is not quite enough. Markin is at 1-1 at the moment to tear it up. It's also 1-1. But, I mean, push that completely back. Tearing it up is a lot, but no medevacs. There is... Uh, actually, sorry, he does have two medevacs that were on attack. They pulled back, and now Terran is up. Third base is complete, while Markin is not quite up his third base. He lost his saving grace right there while he was out in the middle of the map, and then he, he, he could not... He did not afford... or. He was unable to afford actually trying to go into those missile turrets. Like I think he yeah, he really needed to siege his tanks on the low ground below the cliff and attack the missile turrets and then siege drop his marine in. Siege. Yeah, they're engaging oh, the mid map with no siege. Markin sieges up his tanks first, but his marines are already almost completely dead. I, I think know there may be enough siege tanks, tanks actually to clean this up here. Oh, not just barely not enough siege tanks to actually clean this up. Tanned up is going to push forward. Markin is on retreat. Oh, what middle mine goes oh. off onto these medevacs and he's retreating back into his natural base. This is back and forth all game. This is getting intense right now, at least for both players. They are at 1 1, but two or at least two attack for each of them is on the way only. And both players are actually postured to have a lot of upgrades on the way. Finally, Tanned it up to get an armor, but this is going back and forth. I think I don't think it's wise for Tanned it up to push into this. I think he should retreat. Yeah, uh, I think at this point, uh, the trades are, you, you can't guarantee yourself a good trade at this point. You don't have enough tanks to completely annihilate a, a surprise stim or anything like that. So just uh, maybe siege this this cliff here, because uh, these tanks can uh, hammer the, the factory and starport production. Uh, but turn it up, he doesn't have enough marines and marauders here to just uh, buffer for the tanks yet. So Markin stimming in, cleaning up that widow mine, and pushes uh, tearing it up out of his side of the map. And he needs to reestablish his third. He doesn't even have a third CC on the map anymore. It totally died. Now tearing it up is totally turning the tables, about to land his third base. And yeah, like you said, is back and forth and tearing it up is just playing so well right now. Yeah, tearing it up is playing a lot better than the previous games. Got a, and they're actually, interestingly enough, there is six medevacs and so only four of Tearn It Up, but Tearn It Up has so many siege tanks. Not sieged up right now, though. Markin taking a very nice position here. Does not have any marauders with this force, though, which is a little bit scary, but he's able to get a lot of DPS and a lot of drops if he wants to happen, but a lot of these two medevacs are actually very low. Ooh, Tearn It Up, that was dangerous right there. Trying to bait out a stim. Oh, Markin going for a double drop around the left side, scanning around to the, locate the third base of Tearn It Up. Sees that it's at the more exposed uh, 6 o'clock position. Turn it up just now throwing some turrets, but those are not going to be done by the time those two medevacs load in there, and there's 15 marines over there. Mm, yeah, definitely it's not going to be ready, but actually dropping just outside of the orbital command or outside of the third, so he will not engage in these missile turrets and get damage done before tearing it up spots it, but tearing it up spots, the army is not quite in full strength and is very low for Markin. Markin wants to get out of the middle right now, and he actually spots that. Now, down by the third base, actually decides not to move in. He's got to be very careful not to lose these medevacs like he did. There's so much gas for him, but Markin actually has enough gas. He's got a thousand gas in bank banked up and still has not started the third base. 
Yeah, Markin really, really needs to prioritize establishing a third right now. His main is almost mined out, has a grand total of about 500 minerals left in the main. Oh, nice oh, mass repair from tearing it up to save that third. So close for Markin, and that's what Markin needs to do. He needs to get up a third base, as you just mentioned. He does have a lot of upgrades on the way right now. It is Markin's 2-1 to tearing it up. It's 2-2, actually. Tearing it up is such a big advantage right here. Markin is trying to take it back, but each time he's barely getting thwarted. Oh, and he the loses tank. the meta back. Oh, the tanks. Tanks do see jump on the low ground for tearing it up, and Markin is on the high ground, but the tanks are just too far away, not actually in range to be able to get the Marines and Marauders to tear it up. Tearing it up, taking a nice position, will retreat. Is down to four, four uh, medevacs to the five medevacs of Markin, but so close these players are. Finally, Markin is not close to 2 2, but uh, actually, as I say that, he's about like a two, three minutes away from 2 2. But Markin is still trying to defend here. Tearing it up does a plus one attack for these siege tanks, which I love. All right, so here goes Markin, uh, trying this uh, attack over here on the left over. But oh, the Metavox need to be with the main army. Metavox are not with the main army, and the main army actually stems forward, but they cannot do that into the siege tanks. It's just a little bit of a buffer, a little bit of an area you can retreat back into. You can retreat back to your friendly trench, your friendly, uh, your friendly basically castle here. But for both players, they're a little bit out of stalemate. But it's, I mean, tearing it up is just so strong right now. If he, if he truly would just a move in. Uh oh, the turrets are down. Markin preparing another doom drop. There's one tank on the low ground to buffer as he lands up in the main, sieging the tanks, tanks in the main of Tearing It Up. Tearing it Up responds with his own drop, but they're too exposed. The Marines are going to come in and take all this out. The, the, the Marines actually killing a lot of soldiers here right now. Not quite getting the medevacs, though. Three medevacs get away, but Markin is in a fantastic position here because uh, Tearing It Up just did not have enough time to actually siege up. So now the two siege tanks of Markin that are still alive in the main are doing a lot of damage to Tearing It Up, trying to get as much damage to the production as he can. Markin taking out two two barracks so far going for another factory which is key to take out those siege tanks and as another army moving across the map he has sacrificed his third base to do so much so much damage here and just staying constantly aggressive as a fantastic macro to follow it up and may actually just pick up and get out of here cannot quite do that now though because there's only one medevac left but he's done so much damage to the production yeah i think tearing it up just needs to pull his scvs to clean this up uh but there's another huge reinforcement coming in on the left side from markin and it's headed straight for the third and that's going to be the dagger right in the heart of tearing it up i'm afraid Turn up has no more tanks left other than this one in the natural. That is it, market sieging up the third. The third base is done, and that is GG. Chance tearing it up, taps out. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to support the ASL by hitting the button now.